don't judge me how I look. Y'all wanted these videos. Y'all be holding me to them. Y'all be in my inbox. What the videos? This what you getting? I ain't gonna be dressed up every time. Don't fight me. Fight your me. <laughs> so a hundred percent of y'all wanted the story time on my most embarrassing moment, or or the the most embarrassing way that I found out I got cheated on. Here you go. All right, so I'm gonna try to sum it all up really, really quick because <laughs> it's a lot. Well, long story short, hopefully, uh, I was dating a dude. It's kind of—I I, want to keep his name anonymous, but it kind of ties into how I found out he was cheating on me. Um, his name was Paris. We talked about this, okay? Me and him have had this conversation. It is what it is. Um, his name was Paris. Um, talking to him from the north side. This is back when I dated nobody from my side of town. Uh, once I graduated. I didn't want to see anybody on the west side so this is like once i got grown got my own apartment i started dating nobody but north side and i these niggas it is what it is don't judge me judge a mammy uh i'm pretty sure she's had children from worse uh anywho <laughs> anywho found out uh okay so he became a security guard for a girl that was working on back back page uh for those who don't know what back page is back page is a uh well was uh uh, a website where girls used to sell a cootie cat um and some girls who would take high clientele would go out of town and you know it would just be in their best interest to have a male figure with them to go with them just that the third you know for security purposes okay cool she was breaking his ass off decent too uh, he would come with new rental cars every week that we was going on going on dates going out of town we was living it. We was living it up now. Don't get me wrong. We was making that dough. However, that bitch was getting a little too close. She was getting a little too friendly. She wanted to be around just a little too much. Um, backstory: After the fact, found out she did want him, but she was a prostitute. He didn't want her. He just wanted the money. But he had to play that role. It, it is what it is. So on these excursions of them going out of town, um, I guess the pressure got to him. He's a man. I mean, if, if his if his dingling didn't get, didn't get hard, I would think he was gay. I'm just saying. So I guess she pressure, 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 or maybe not. I'm pretty sure she didn't put a gun to his head. However, the fact they ended up hunching. It is what it is. Okay. So the reason why I say his name is important to how I found out he was cheating on me is because his name was Paris. So we were together for a very long time. I had every intention on getting a tattoo. Um, oh, and this explains, because all my tattoos have a story. And this explains my tattoo on how I got this one. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm ADHD. It has me all over the place. Damn it. So, anywho, uh, back to the topic. Uh, she used to do hair. Uh, this is when I used to rock my, my I'm, I'm gonna insert a picture here. Clearly, you see, been that bitch. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this is back when I had the half shave, half long, or whatever the case may be. She used to do my hair real decent or whatever. So that's how she got in good with me. So she called herself trying to be my friend or whatever the case off of being my hair because she used to do my hair damn near every freaking week. So I'm like, if I, either little or nothing or the dudes was paid af, out of his fees or whatever the case may be, I ain't have to pay to get my hair done every week. <laughs> so me and the girls just started hanging out. We weren't friends, but we, we started hanging out. How did it go? Me, and, uh, She asked me to take her somewhere because she's making all this money and she doesn't have a car. Anywho, uh, uh, I was taking her somewhere and... Okay, she used to do the sugar booger. I, I'm not judging her. It, it, it ties into the story, so I have to say this. She was on the sugar booger. And she was in my car one day, and she did it in front of me. She didn't ask her. So anybody who knows anybody that does sugar booger, they, they tend to ramble, you know. Um, and I guess um, after her one night stand with my man, she felt some type of way. And she wanted to go ahead and seal the deal, but he did not want to leave me for her. So she felt some type of way about that. So I guess this particular day, she said she had to get something off her motherfucking chest, baby. So she went on ahead and she was rambling, rambling, rambling about a night that her, him, and his friend was having where they went to like a pool hall and this, that, and the third. And they got messed up really, really bad. And they dared her to get a tattoo. Here's how I found out I was getting cheated on. The tattoo that I wanted, being that his name was Paris, I was going to get the Eiffel Tower right here on my arm with his name. While she was talking, 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 what made me zone in on the conversation is and she was like yeah and that's how i got this tattoo and it was the eiffel tower with my nigga name on it 
I made her repeat the whole story again. I got all the details or whatever. Needless to say, I put her out right then and there. I went home. I turned on Kaya. Don't trust no nigga. And um, I put him out. I told him to come get his stuff. Guess who he was with when he came and got his stuff? Um, yeah, and that's how that happened. I want to say like two weeks later, I made a um a tattoo appointment because well, I had already made the tattoo appointment, but I was gonna get that tattoo. I changed my tattoo, and instead of getting the Eiffel Tower with his name, I got a tattoo that says "Loving Me," where that tattoo was supposed to go, reminding myself to always love me more and never to accept stupidity because I I knew what was going on. I just decided to ignore the signs and that's my most embarrassing way i found out i got cheated on now before y'all get in my comments judging me please understand this was years ago like over a decade ago i was in my early 20s and 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 now um after having time to reflect over it there was a fine line between being her protection and he was probably her pimp <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> he probably was her pimp and the more their relationship as that whole dynamic grew the more she just wanted me out of the picture like she ended up having beef with me about my dude um you reap what you sow karma is very real anytime that there's a woman involved um in the interference of my relationship i give the dude back I, I, or i give the dude to you um two weeks to a month later she comes calling me because uh something happened it's his side her side and then there's the truth so i don't really care about the details but however it goes she calls me because whatever happened she ended up having to call the police on him which ultimately resulted in him going back to prison um and ironically it happened the day that he called me wanting to come back home and we were going to reconcile so when she found that out uh she called the police sent him back to prison and had the audacity to call me and ask me to help out with getting the lawyer bitch is just and for those who just are wanting to know, did I give her the money for the lawyer? You must not be been here long. Hell no, I ain't give her that money. Um, he went to prison because of her. I haven't spoke to her definitely since that situation again after he got out of prison he did reach out to me we did talk about it we both got closure on the situation no bad blood if i see him in the street i'll speak but yeah that, that, that's how that ended and that's how that happened so if you would like to get any more story times from me please let me know in the comments um i do have a lot prepared to give to y'all but that's all going to be dependent on the interaction that i get from y'all um on this particular story time so let me know i have a lot a lot of y'all know a lot of y'all may not know i used to be a dancer um i've had a lot of crazy relationship situations i've had a lot of crazy friendship relationships so let me know in the comments after y'all looked at this story time and let me know if y'all want to see more and i will start dropping them once a week for y'all love y'all